So are you better now? I take a lot of medicine every day, and like I still fight the inflammation. Like right now, I have inflammation again in my neck. But I say I'm better. At least they know what's going on, so that if anything does happen, it's not like, well, she's just. Well, nothing is gonna happen. Yeah, no, it shouldn't. But you never know. Life is strange. But I do believe I'll survive anything that happens now. Yes, you will. You're such a positive and amazing person. Sally, I love you. And every time I hit the medium, I kind of wake up. And it happened all the way from I-75 to 34th and Archer Road, heading towards campus. That's when I back end and totaled a car at 34th and Archer Road right before um, passing an intersection. And that's when I realized that I was drooling at the side of my left side. I was completely paralyzed. And I went to grab a napkin and I thought like, oh, that's, that's not normal. There's something wrong. This isn't like me being sleeping anymore. This is me, there's something wrong. And that's when the ambulance came and I told them I was having a stroke because I had gone over that in the health academy at Gainesville High School. And they helped me put, on, put me on stroke precautions. So when I got to the ER, the stroke team was aware that they had a stroke patient. They um, x-rayed me, CT scan, MRI, and found that I had six and a half inch clot in my neck and a one and a half inch clot in my brain. The only scary part was really feeling like I wouldn't make it. And um, when I woke up, I was grateful for every day I got after that. And then when I had the accident, I remember the birthday after that, I realized that I got to make it to 19. And this past one, I made it to 20. And um, I didn't really think I would make it to 20. Especially with the chemo and all the pain that's gone through. But I did, and my family came from Puerto Rico. It was really special just to be there. I was definitely a high stress person. I would stress over being late to class or not getting an internship or something. And now I'm really relieved that I just get the opportunity to interview or I get the opportunity to walk to my class because my doctors told me that today was not supposed to happen or yesterday or any day since then. The amount of clot I had and the amount of, you know, the stroke at such a young age. I should have had a lot worse life, but I'm grateful for what I have and I don't stress about the little things anymore. My friends, seeing their faces and being able to go to my classes and see my professors, my family, that keeps me all really positive. Just trying to act as normal as I can makes me happy. It makes me relieved that I can do it. And there's like nothing in this world that can make me get sad because I just got a second chance at life.